<sighs> well, that cycle ended on a somber note. But, that seems to be everything. It really does feel like my journey is coming to an end. I've explored everything on Brutal Hollow, Giant's Deep, I've solved all the quantum puzzles, learned everything I need to do about the quantum moon, I've explored the Sunless City, the Hain City, I've explored the terrifying depths of the Dark Bramble, I've explored the depths of our home planet as well. It's all really starting to feel like it's coming to an end, and not gonna lie, I'm really gonna miss going on this journey. But for now, I can't hang my head thinking about the past. It's time to move on to the future, and it's time to finally explore this quantum moon once and for all. And of course, it's over by Dark Bramble, my favorite place in all the solar system. I was kind of hoping it would be maybe floating above my planet or floating above Giant Steep or Brittle Hollow, any place but Dark Bramble, because I really hate Dark Bramble. I think anyone who has been living in the solar system all their life hates Dark Bramble, especially with the fact that it's infecting my home planet. Oh! Whoa! Oh! 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 I made it. I... I... I made it. I'm on the surface of the moon. I doubt my ship's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon, but... Ugh. I... I'm actually here. This... This must have been Solanum. Or what's left of her, anyways. Died on her pilgrimage. Uh, this place unnerves me to no end. And yeah, just like one of the readings said before, every time you land on the, the surface of the moon, you end up at the South Pole. This must have been the shrine. Quantum here. I need to be super careful. Oh, there you are. Because the outside of the, on this place is utterly terrifying. Hey, you have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. And recall the rule of the sixth location. Each of the three basic places where I was taught uh, new things about the quantum realm. Let's see. That's the twins. That's the Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, Giant Steep, Dark Bramble, and that's the symbol for the eye, and that's the sixth location. Could, could the moon be at the eye? Is that where it leads? One way to find out. Time to go on a trip. So many mountains here, 
I feel like if I break the surface, I'm just going to be lost into the void of space once again, and without a ship, I'm most likely going to die this cycle. Hmm. Maybe if I travel to Giant's Deep, that's basically a flat surface altogether, and I can get up to the... get up to the North Pole easily. What the... That I can't go to because it seems to have teleported me inside a rock formation. And yeah, those are the same types of rocks that I've seen all throughout the solar system, so they have been chunks of the moon itself. Water here seems a little weird. Don't think it's supposed to be this color, although that may be like a, a sandy undergrowth. And of course, the tower is gone. I haven't seen the body anywhere as well. I'm gonna get to the oh yeah, that's our ship I recalled that one cycle now, if I can't get back to my ship at least I'll know of a way to get off the moon As close as I can get to the North Pole, how am I supposed to get past the cyclone? Maybe another location will offer me something? Well, let's try back home. Geysers everywhere. And, yeah, there's nothing here. It got me past that rock formation. not right. The sky is weird. Like, it's a lot higher than it was in the other locations. Hmm. Seems like the clouds are moving to a set location as well. Uh, and these rock formations, I don't know what it is about them, but they're creeping me out to no end. Uh, 
Identify. Identify, I guess. Identify you. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and now we call it home. I might as well make an introduction. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You could, you'd have my gratitude for understand mine. other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Wait. This is the eye of the universe's moon. And that one location on the tower. Tell me about the eye. I have to know. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now. Although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit above and around the star system. Can you please explain? There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is observable only on a very small scale as one approaches the eye. However, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exists in a microscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broken off from the moon have a similar effect as I imagine you have seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse into a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Alright, can you explain more about the moon? Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer that the quantum moon's natural state is that we see it, is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon and its eye is the eye's moon, it's likely any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding the quantum shards that land on other planets eventually become quantum too. Huh. I never thought of it that way. Uh, the, I guess, what's your take on me? I imagine your presence here is the same as mine, to learn and find the Eye of the Universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here. However, perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. What 
about you. Because I, I could have sworn I saw your body in one of the other quantum areas. I'm on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. I'll know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I have journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is observed from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Huh. I wonder. Hmm, I didn't think this would work. These are two tenets of know my philosophy. To seek out and understand is our way of living. What would happen if I reverse the stones? Oops. Uh oh. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe, would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? We do not have much in common, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Well... Given the state of your people now, I guess it's good to at least they'll have a friend out here. This is your first time to the Quantum Moon? It's my first time here. If you came here looking for answers, I hope you find them. What about the moon in the eye? I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it currently is orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different from when orbiting Giant Steep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being the moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked in one specific version of itself when it's consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Alright, well, what's your take on all this? Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Uh, that's a horrifying thought. And a very plausible one, too. That had to have been your bodies in the past areas. Well, bodies, I guess. I'm just speaking from theory. And that's just your take on me. Yeah, that's everything to talk about, it seems. I wonder what that space above me is. Maybe, maybe if I go through it, I'll be able to finally reach the eye itself. Well, it was good finally meeting you for once. I wish, I wish we could know each other more, and I wish there was something that could have been done to help save your people. And I guess 
this. I also have to live with the fact that I'm unable to save mine either. We just might be the last two living species members of our own races. I'll, I'll still continue your people's journey though. I'll find that eye and, I don't know, maybe put that hypothesis of yours to the test and become a conscious observer. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Goodbye, Solanum. It was nice getting to meet you for once. back to Brittle Hollow. Yeah, my ship's been floating from where I left it with the eye. Which means I'm never going to see that ship ever again. And there's the moon. I feel like that thing's just following me at this point. Let's see, the sun's getting pretty red. I could try to make a shot towards it and see if I can land on the twins, bring my reports to shirt. Well, if, I, if I missed my shot, then at least I can just recall myself again and try it. All right, here we go. I think I overshot my target. In fact, I think I've way overshot my target. Mm, it's, it's gonna, nah, I'm not gonna make it. In fact, I can't tell if I'm going to be flying over the sun or if I'm going to be roasted inside of it. That does nothing. Alright, let's recall. Alright, let's take a look. Well, it's pointing me in the wrong direction. Possibly try to escape the supernova. I don't feel like this ship would be fast enough to escape that explosion. And if anything, it would just destroy the Ash Twin project and it would just snap me out of this cycle. What would happen if I went to the White Hole Station? Well, there would have been a chance for me to get to, get to my ship. Unfortunately, I missed that chance. Not gonna make. 
make it, and the sun's already red enough. Well, it was nice to be able to meet Solanum for the first time. Although, something tells me I'm gonna impact on the surface before the supernova hits. Ah well. I mean, either way, I'm I'm done this cycle. I don't really want to go out this way. I'm. Oh. 